my boss met with me about quiet quitting. So I'm going to preface this with a brief description of my work ethic. Just about everywhere I've worked, you could consider me as the anchor employee. I show up during my scheduled shift, on time and unless it's an actual emergency or death in the family, I always show up. I'm more reliable than death and taxes. On the other side of the coin, I don't usually take extra shifts. I do my 40 hours reliably so I don't have to. My company has been pretty short-handed lately because they bit off more than they could chew with a contract. They tried supplementing it with temps instead of hiring more people and obviously that bit them in the ass in the long run. Now they've resorted to reducing the number of required workers in departments and taking volunteers for double shifts, extra days, and weekends. The other day I'm coming back from my lunch hour and my boss waves me over to his desk. He's also accompanied by the regional site manager that goes to different locations. They tell me to have a seat and the boss goes on about the personnel issues. So I finally address the elephant in the room. So, you're going to hire more people, right? The boss and the regional look at each other and the regional chimes in that they're working on it. They reminded me of the $250 referral bonus if I bring someone in and they stay for at least six months. I've recommended people, but they don't like the work schedule and never applied. Anyway, the boss starts going on about quiet quitting. I know what it is and it's absolute bullshit, but I decided to humor him and let him continue his explanation. I waited for an opening and decided to get to the point. What does this have to do with me? The boss brings up my schedule and passive aggressively laments that I'm working 40 hours every week. Then he pulls out the volunteer overtime sign up sheet. Okay, then do you want me to work more days or something? Then he goes on the defensive. That's when I remembered that my union contract says all overtime is exclusively voluntary. The boss continues going on circles trying to weasel in that he wants me to take more shifts by reiterating that I'm only working 40 hours. If you want me to take more shifts, then tell me you want me to take more shifts. The boss looks over to the regional who kind of shrugs in a fuck it, we tried type of way. Then he takes his glasses off and starts massaging his temples in a frustrated manner. I start to get up. If you want me to take more shifts because you're short-handed, all you have to do is tell me. Then I leave and go back to working my job within my scheduled hours. This is why we need much greater union membership. It's so people can do their jobs well without management fucking with them and demanding more just because they're greedy. So you want me to wear more pieces of flair? Gotta love it when somebody wants something, but can't outright ask because they know it's wrong. Good thing you have a union, probably only reason you're still employed at the moment. I hope everyone reading this understands how the union protected OP without even having to be present. Try to see things from his side. You're only doing 40 hours a week and it'd make him a lot more money if you sacrificed your own time to work some more hours for free surf. Next minute no one is loyal to their employer anymore. Why is showing up doing what you need to do and going home such a bad thing? LOL. I don't get this quiet quitting thing. You have a staff member working in the assigned position doing what they need. It's just about employers wanting to violate your boundaries. I hate when things have done misnomers. Doing your actual job no more, no less should have never been labeled as quiet quitting. If anything, constantly calling out, being late, and barely doing your task should be because it's like you're daring them to fire you. Boss so about quiet quitting. Let me stop you there. Quiet quitting is a bullshit phrase made up by morons who think they own their employees' non-scheduled time. Okay, continue. My manager and store director wanted me to work six days consistently until they could find someone to work. I told them it wouldn't be good for my mental health. You have to stick up for you. Just smile and recognize your boss just told you you can get a better job elsewhere. Quiet quitting is a term made up by corporations to shame employees where shame isn't warranted. 
Imagine being upset that employees come in and do what their job description entails. Monstrous. And that is why if anyone tells you unions bad, you should smack them on their mouth. These businesses quit caring about their employees long ago. If a person is broke after 40 hours, working more hours of selective and unpredictable overtime isn't gonna make a significant difference these days. Overtime is great if 40 hours pays the bills with a healthy amount left for savings, but when OT is required to survive it's not worth a shit. Only 40 hours as if that's not full-time skull like what? Weird that he couldn't just ask you to take some more shifts. Why is that so hard? If you want me to wear 37 pieces of flair like your pretty boy Brian over there then why don't you just make the minimum 37 pieces of flair? The real question is who was the dunce that overcommitted? They need to be run over coals both internally and externally. When this shit happens I can only think you could roll up your sleeves couldn't you? And if they literally can't do the job because they lack the skills then they can get fucked. The minimum is 15 pieces of flair. Now some choose to wear more and we encourage that. Jesus the mental gymnastics these employees go through not to take the blame for their staffing issues is insane. My principal tried something very similar with our grade level. All three other teachers ended up signing up for extra days. I had been dealing with her passive-aggressive BS for too long to not take my days into session in my district. She was the queen of I'm not telling you to do this thing I can't tell you, I'm just saying every other teacher does it. If you want me to wear 37 pieces of flair, just tell me. We're making it mandatory that you volunteer to work more hours. Facepalm hashtag hash. I just learned that I've been quiet quitting for about a year and a half now. Thanks. Friends, as companies try their best to forget that they would be lost without you and your labor, and they insist on trying to squeeze every last drop of work from you without compensating you properly, let them suffer the consequences of their poor business decisions. Know your worth. Don't prop up a sinking business with your free labor. Yet another example of me not seeing any valid reason why more Americans don't form a labor union at their workplace. Reminds me of office space. That film seems absolutely timeless. Shame on you for not wearing enough pieces of flair. You're a goddamn inspirational Tyrannosaurus. You are only wearing 15 pieces of flair. You should try to wear more pieces of flair. You're only doing the bare minimum. Hero in action. It kinda reminds me of anyone in a position of power's reaction when they realize you know your rights and have reasonable boundaries. FFS, even if quiet quitting were a real thing and not PR bullshit, doing your full job reliably isn't IT. I wish it was voluntary where I work. Today's favor is tomorrow's obligation. If a hero sticks around long enough, eventually, often through no fault of his own, he gets to see himself become the villain. Not all heroes wear capes. Bravo. The power of a union. Thanks for sharing this, fun story. See, that's not quiet quitting and he was just using it as a tool to get you to do more. I tell your union rep ASAP calls that actually more along the lines of extortion. You have a contract, if you do the work as described in your contract, you're good. Also, fuck that term you're working to contract. Management is so easy and fun to fuck with. I recently saw my GM flippantly tell a co-worker to not bother coming in when they delivered their two weeks. They were like, okay, if you say so within the next week, at least two other people had announced that they were leaving and clown GM over here is calling around to other branches trying to pull employees from their schedules to cover his shortages. And he's still talking about other employees as disposable when he can't hire people faster than his firing them or they're quitting. I just picture Jennifer Aniston in office space with the pieces of flair conversation. If you needed them to help you they wouldn't. The bosses I come in for and do extra for have all been actual literal friends of mine. Anyone else can suck it. Brian has 37 pieces of flair, okay. AMD a terrific smile, 